Greg speaks Welsh fluently, which is why tonight he might pick nine consonants and no vowels. <laughs> I hate to interrupt you so quickly in this show, but I don't speak Welsh fluently. How much Welsh do you speak? Do you... It's very hard to quantify a language. Like <laughs> About 73% of it. In 2010, Rod was named Wales' sexiest man. Nice for Rod, but a real kick in the teeth for Wales. <laughs> uh, Rod is hugely popular in Wales, so all the Welsh will be watching tonight. It doesn't matter what they're doing. Putting a dress on some livestock, counting up to 12 on their fingers, covering each other with phlegm during a normal conversation, <laughs> or having sex with a close relative. They'll take time out to cheer Rod on. <laughs> Rod currently hosts a radio show on BBC Wales. The show blends music, comedy and idle banter, with warnings not to have sex with your sister, build wicker men or marry livestock. <laughs> no round of applause. Amazing. <laughs> Council workers in Glamorgan were left embarrassed after they spelt Wales, W-H-A-L-E-S, on road signs. To be fair, it should be pretty obvious whether you're entering a Welsh town or driving into the dark, reeking guts of a giant sea creature. <laughs> Unless it's Swansea, in which case better signage would help. <laughs> And do one of your crappy jokes. <laughs> That's the spirit. I'm good. <laughs> Rod was brought up in Carmarthen in Carmarthenshire in Wales. Yeah. If you're not sure what that's like, imagine a rubbish bin in a skip on a landfill. <laughs> yeah. Carmarthen is the oldest town in Wales. It's yeah. TK Maxx, dates back to medieval times. <laughs> One for you, collectively, and one for him. <laughs> Rod, have you got a mascot? Uh, I'm wearing my, uh, lucky pants. <laughs> y your lucky pants? I'm wearing my lucky underpants, yeah. I've had them since the 1980s, and I've worn them for school exams, university exams, my wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the fact that your undercarriage hasn't grown since you were in school is quite unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, they're unfeasibly tight. <laughs> Can we, can we see the said lucky pants? <laughs> I can show you them if you want. But yeah, sure. Nothing really to see, they're just a... You know, just a regular pair of... Oh, a, a regular pair of lucky... Lucky pants, sir. Just, uh... <laughs> just a regular... Okay. Uh, Rod, have you got a mascot? Yes. It's sort of because every time I come on here, you, uh, you take the piss out of me, frankly, about uh, being Welsh and you call us a bunch of inbred sheep shaggers in one way or another. <laughs> so my mascot tonight is some of my friends and family who I've brought along to show you how offensive and sort of unfair and outdated your views are. Where, where are they? Just in the front there. <laughs> The one at the end shagging an inflatable sheep. <laughs> yeah, funnily enough, I didn't tell him to do that. <laughs> Rod, have you got a mascot? Yeah, I've messed up a bit though, because I brought a mascot that I thought would wind John up and throw him and psych him out and completely mess with his head and put him off for the whole game. Right. Yeah, and then it backfired because I got put on his team. <laughs> well, we have to see the mascot. Well, no, we don't. It's part of the, part of the show. I know it's part of the show, but fuck it. <laughs> Come, let's have a look at it. Well, but it's gonna mess him up and he's on my team. Oh, he'll be all right. He'll be well, fine I with this. The one I don't thing think I know mind. would mess with his head, like, really bad <laughs> was just a really untidy, disordered cutlery drawer. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need... You're giving me something to do there. <laughs> I'm already so it's excited at the, just what this is gonna look like by the end. <laughs> Are you still sorting the cutlery out? Well, I've done the best I can, Jimmy, but I've got serious questions about your diet, Rod, if this is your cutlery tray. I mean, who has six dessert forks and two regular forks? <laughs> and I've separated soup spoons that, from... With you, it's like, I know I can just do that. You go mental. 
Watch me go mental. <laughs> She's leaving! <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely know you won't like it. And genuinely know you won't like it. You won't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John, uh, you're up against Rod tonight. He's undefeated. Yeah. You think you can take him? <laughs> well, it's tense. I've, I've won eight out of ten, eight out of ten Cats Does Countdowns. And the only people that have beaten me are Sean and Rod. Unfortunately, because I am unbeaten on this, they keep pairing me with this fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never thought that was my nickname. <laughs> I thought it was something like Spexy, Locky, Loco, but no, it's not. this fucker. <laughs> Rod, you yeah. are one of the strongest Cat Stars Countdown players of all time. Are you feeling the pressure to perform this evening? No, I'm not. I mean, I, I mean I'm with Sean. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I can win from here, is it? Turn, like... turn and hooch. <laughs> turn this and is hooch like, of Countdown. You've only got a chance if you're on John's team. You've got no chance with this. <laughs> I mean, he, he's Please. sitting right there. I know. Yeah, I know. He doesn't. He can't understand me. Look at the size. Putting me with him is like taking a champion racehorse, sawing off its hooves, and replacing them with empty bean tins. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. It's like strapping a cement mixer to a greyhound. If I did my sats now, I'd, I'd definitely get into year seven. <laughs> Try and add them up into the number at the top. What, what did you get? The number I was supposed to get. <laughs> what, what, what did you get, Rob? I think I got 768. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah. Okay, I got, Lee? I got 768. Yeah. I got 768, but I haven't written it down. Oh, well, oh there we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might as well write down 769, though, I notice. <laughs> 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 Jason, what do you get? I think I've got 818. Okay, that's ideal. Rod? It's <laughs> close. But. No, I'll have to hand it to you, I think, if you've, if you've got 818. But what did you get? How could you not know what you've got? What have you. I've got 27 so far, but I haven't finished. <laughs> I've got 803. Oh, Rod, nice. what have you got? Well, I haven't used everything, but I've got nine. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, talk me through your nine. Right. Oh, oh, six and three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you've genuinely got? Yeah, I could have used the seven and the two, but I thought, I've got it. Why waste time? <laughs> what, what do you think you're going to be strongest on this evening? The, the letters or numbers? I'm going to be better on letters, I think. I'm a letters man. Give, try me on any letter. L? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sean, Jason? Four. Five. Four, five. John? Uh, five. Rod? Oh, about seven, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Sean, what's your four? Rint. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, what have you got? Um, truer. Guys, I don't want to hurry you, but I'm sitting on a fucking seven. <laughs> I've got any idea how this is. <laughs> it's a possible eight. Rod, what, what, well, what? I'm, I've got a definite seven, right? Possible eight. Ooh. OK. Now, how do I play this, Jimmy? Definite seven. How do you play this? Yeah. You've got to give us a seven, cos you said seven. So I'm going to go for the seven, a definite urinate. <laughs> See, I would argue the possible eight is if you said, who's that urinator over there? <laughs> the very first meeting of the urinator uh, was a diver. But it's not in anymore, I can't believe it. It's, it's not, not in there. anymore? No. <laughs> what have you got? Well, the one I had that I was really pleased with was chewing, except there was no G. <laughs> but I had chewing, like with an apostrophe. <laughs> we, can't, we can't let you have that. Literally <laughs> couldn't give a toss. <laughs> Susie, are there any words in other languages that we, we'd benefit from in English? There's a Chinese word, I think. It's coral. It's either Chinese or Japanese, and it means the fear that your penis is shrinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Um... <laughs> Well, it's a very interesting question, that, because it's always doing one or the other. <laughs> I've never looked at my penis and it's been the same size twice. <laughs> it's always surprising me. It's always... I go... Sometimes I go, I go oh, blimey, and other days I go, what is that? <laughs> and, Are you sure hmm, is this your penis you're didn't... looking at? Yeah. <laughs> Looking at my penis, I find it endlessly fascinating. Well, it's not endlessly. Constantly. Not endlessly, that's the wrong word. Yeah. Well, it's, well, it's, the, yeah, it's 46 years old, my penis. <laughs> 46? It's older than Sydney Opera House, my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Does, is it has oh. as many visitors? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rod, you're quite... I mean, I don't want to upset you by saying this, but you're quite an angry man a lot of the time. Are there any words uh, that rile you? There's only one thing that's got in common with me being angry every time I'm on this show, and that's you. <laughs> <laughs> but are there any words that get you, kind of irritate you? I get angry with the things that the words <laughs> represent. I find there's no point in getting angry with the words themselves. <laughs> it's just shooting the messenger. <laughs> I did get angry when they didn't allow Forsake. You didn't allow oh, it. Oh, I know. That was I tough. I thought you should have let me have that. It was tough. And I could just let you know right now tonight, Henning, if there is any trouble like that. I'll... I'm here to sort it out, don't Yes, worry. well, <laughs> you better sort it out in my favour. I'll vote you, Kip, and you immediately <laughs> after the show will be deported. <laughs> um, here is a poem that is simply called Busy Bee. Busy Bee, Busy Bee. Why are you so busy? <laughs> busy bee, busy bee, always in a tizzy. <laughs> busy bee, busy bee, thank you for the honey. <laughs> busy bee, busy bee, I owe you more than money. <laughs> busy bee, busy bee, I hope it never ends. <laughs> busy bee, busy bee, you are my only friend. <laughs> That was about a bee I made friends with on a family holiday in Uruguay. <laughs> I called him a race. He was it's a legend. A, <laughs> the bee just landed on your arm. As they said that, Paul Jamo. There he is. It's a there fly. He is. It's a bee. <laughs> You're on a race. <laughs> we pretend to the throne. <laughs> and um, I've got another poem. This one's called Butterfly. I don't fancy your chances, mate. <laughs> You wouldn't do that during Shakespeare, would you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fingers on buzzers for today's crucial countdown conundrum. <laughs> Have you got, got it? it? Got it. What is it? Stopwatch. Fingers on buzzers, it's time for today's crucial countdown conundrum. Time starts now. <laughs> Sensation. Oh, excellent. Very good. Today's countdown conundrum. <laughs> what have you got? Well, I've pressed quickly because I've got a word and I don't think it's a word, but I've got. Uh, oh no. <laughs> okay, start the clock again. He's done it again, another week, he's done it! He's only... <laughs> Rod, Rod, what have you got? Only... Paintings, boys, paintings, he's done it again! <laughs> so, let's have a look. Highest ever scorers on the show. Uh, right. you, is there any competition this evening? Do you think you're going to walk this? No, I'll walk it. Absolutely walk it. No, <laughs> I, 
have a, a gift where any jumbled up word floating around, I can immediately... Like above your head now, I'm seeing C-K-I-D straight away. My brain makes sense of it. <laughs>